Vader Splash Oakland. You know, about 18 months ago, we started considering moving this event to Oakland from San Francisco, where we've been holding it successfully for four years. But admittedly, I had reservations. I thought we wouldn't be able to attract some of our San Francisco attendees. So as we started pulling the event together and speakers, someone said to me, not surprisingly, oh, Oakland? How do I get there? So thank you, everyone, for getting here, for figuring it out, and also getting here on time. So why Oakland? Well, as Mitch Kapor said to me several weeks ago, Oakland is on the cutting edge. And it's the energy of the startup ecosystem that's found on the edges and the fringes. And as an entrepreneur, like many of you, I look for the edges and the fringes. And we look for the green fields where very few see potential, but enough of us have a vision. And Vader, along with our partners, our supporters, our sponsors, some of our speakers, have a vision for Oakland. You see, Oakland is on the cusp of explosive growth, much like what we saw in San Francisco. San Francisco, circa 1997, 1999, was pretty desolate and barren, much like some of the places in, in Oakland. I know, I lived in San Francisco, right outside of China Basin. And in 10 years, 15 years, San Francisco transformed to become the epicenter of the tech boom. And why? A lot of it had to do with Pac Bell Park. And Pac Bell Park attracted a lot of real estate development that created neighborhoods. Neighborhoods that attracted today's generation of entrepreneurs, young, single, hip, um, newly married, desiring urban dense areas, desiring affordable housing. And we believe Oakland has the same assets to attract today's generation of entrepreneurs as well. And the proposed ballpark on the waterfront here in Howard Termo Terminal could be a catalyst that could ignite this area to see SOMA-like growth. So let's look at the numbers. In 2003, San Francisco accounted for 5% of all of VC dollars in the Bay Area. In the first quarter of 2014, San Francisco now accounts for 49%. 49% of all VC dollars has gone into San Francisco. Even more incredible, seed to early stage dollars is going into San Francisco. More than, 40 more than 50 percent of all the seed to early stage dollars is going into San Francisco. And so what is that creating? Well, that's creating a city that's full. And that's an opportunity for us. Because Oakland now has the foundation. Now, more than ever before, we have the foundation and the money is coming in. $98 million was invested in Oakland in the first quarter of 2014. That's 80% of what was invested in Oakland of all of last year. Five years ago, we had one VC. Now we have a five VCs. Um, we have startups, we have accelerators, we have real estate development creating neighborhoods that attract, that's attracting, yes, today's young entrepreneurs who want cool places to live. We also have office space. We have about three million square feet <coughs> of office space for all of these startups, just to put that into perspective. That's about 60 football fields. And if you can't get that visualization, it's about 1,200 blue whales. So if you're a startup, if you're a tech investor, you don't have to plant yourself in Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is coming to us. And together, we can shape it in a very inclusive way. We want to preser preserve diversity. We want to maintain our neighborhoods. And we want to develop the local workforce. So we're excited about Oakland. Super excited, as you can tell. And I'm thrilled that we have the support of the city of Oakland and the city of Oakland's support for the entire Oakland area. And I am honored and, and uh, honored to welcome the mayor of Oakland, Mayor Jean Kwan, to open up uh, Vader Splash and welcome you to the city.